I'm excited to announce that OM Systems has given me the new OM5 camera to try out. And I have to tell you, I'm pretty excited about this new camera. And to try it out, what better place than the Italian Dolomites? I've had the opportunity to be in the Dolomites for the last couple of weeks testing this performance on this camera. And I will tell you ahead of time, I'm pretty impressed. Hi, Frank Smith here. I am an OM ambassador for OM Systems, and as I mentioned, I have the new OM5 camera with me. My plan today is to share with you some of the results of the images that I've taken during the course of the last couple of weeks in the Italian Dolomites. My primary intentions with this video is to highlight some of the computational features of this camera. Also, to share with you who this camera may be for and point out some of its capabilities. As part of the features, I want to share some of the things that are important to me, some of the things that I use when I'm out in the field. And one of them is the HDR component that's in this camera. I can set this to bracket for three, five, or seven shots, depending upon the challenging light that I might have. This has made my life significantly easier when I'm doing post-processing and assembling the images. So for many of you that know me, I am an outdoor photographer, and a lot of the times it takes me into the evening hours. One of the new features built into the OM5 is the Starry Sky AF feature. And what that is, it allows me to focus on stars at, in a pitch dark environment that normally would be a real challenge to try to get in focus. However, with this feature, I can lock onto it and I can lock onto it fast. I want to share with you some of the results of that and let you be the judge. As an outdoor photographer, one of the things that's important to me is I like to photograph moving things such as water, waterfalls, streams, things of that nature. And a lot of times I like to photograph that with a slow shutter speed to give that nice smooth effect. That typically requires me to carry a handful of ND filters with me. But now with this new OM5, I have the built-in live ND feature which allows me to go up to four stops that gives me the ability to slow those things down, slow down clouds, slow down water. Another new feature in the OM5 that really works well for me is it incorporates seven and a half stops of image stabilization when used with a synced lens. And what's the significance of that? What that does is it allows me to handhold this camera at one and two seconds sometimes and still end up with tack sharp images. And of course, when I'm shooting uh, scenarios with low light, what an amazing assistance. And in addition to that, that ties in with another new feature that's really, really a plus is the new high res shooting ability with this camera. But what's new about it is I no longer am required to have a tripod in order to get that imagery. I can shoot a 50 megapixel image handheld with this and tack sharp images. And again, I'll be sharing some of those images with you so you can see the results of that. So where is this important, of course, is when I am at a location that I want as much detail as possible, potentially in an area that I may never get back to. So that's a real important plus to this. In addition, I can also shoot high res 80 megapixel with a tripod. And again, even that much more amount of detail that I can achieve. So with these high res images, it gives me the maximum ability for editing. I have detail to work with that I wouldn't necessarily have otherwise. Another new feature that they have built into this camera is that I now have the ability to shoot vertical video. And there's nothing I have to adjust. I simply position the camera properly and I can go ahead and get my vertical video. What's the importance of that? Of course, for social media, the likes of Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, many of those. So now I can just take that right from there 
and not be challenged with any other issues associated with that. So another feature that's very important to me is because of the outdoor environments that I travel to, I am in areas where there are some very, very challenging weather conditions. This camera now has the highest IP rating, an IP53. What does that mean? It's pretty much weatherproof. I am not restricted because of sand, rain, snow, sleet, what have you. And I've already taken this out in some pretty challenging environments while in the Dolomites and I've not run into any problems at all with this. Who is this camera for? And I will tell you, if you're an outdoors person, an adventurer, somebody that likes to travel, this camera is ideally made for that. I can literally put this camera in my pocket. You can see the size of it and I am not having any sacrifice with image quality. Extremely important for the type of photography that I do. So one of the questions I've been asked is, what is this camera? And I think the short answer to that is, if you're familiar with the OMD EM1 Mark III, it is basically all of that technology put into this small body that you see here and it's amazing for me to have that type of ability when I'm in environments where I don't always know what I'm going to be challenged with and I now have full flexibility to capture this in all of the dynamic range and all of the features that I would need when photographing outside. What I want to do now is I want to share some of the images that I've taken while in the Dolomites and I want you to be the judge. I want you to look at this and decide if you think the quality of this meets what you're after. For me, I must tell you, it has surpassed all of those expectations. This camera is going to be a regular part in my camera bag when I'm traveling. Let's take a look at some of the images. In addition, be on the lookout for a tip on the OM System Learn Center. Part of what uh, I was asked to do is to put together um, a series of features and tips on this camera, and that should be up on their website shortly. Again, that's on the OM System website under the Learn Center. Thank you.